Let's go for a ride. You are watching Cycle Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today. the CBR 1000 double R. Some of you guys have asked me, Cycle Cruiser, what do you do if you get a tank slapper? How do you prevent tank slappers? Well, I'll tell you guys, I've never had a tank slapper. <laughs> you know why? Because on my 600 double R, and the CBR 1000 the Blar has a built-in electronic steering damper right on right here underneath the tank cover and it works to stabilize the bars at speed so that way you don't you won't have the tank slapper update I did experience a tank slapper aka death wobble on my former WR250R on the highway once at speed I got serious head shake, and man, it's really scary, but you have to stay calm, let off the throttle, let the bike engine brake, and just kind of ride out of it. Uh, don't hit the brake, don't panic, and you'll probably be okay. I believe the reason for that tank wobble that I got was because a wheel weight fell off the front rim. So when I got home, I rebalanced the front and rear wheel and also secure the weights with duct tape. I did do a video on how to change your tires and balance your wheels. I'll include that video link in the description and comment section of this video. That's why you definitely want to be wearing all the gear, especially an airbag vest, which I have a link to in the description and comment section of this video. So if you are experiencing it, you may want to get a steering damper. They have, you can get an Olin's set top steering damper go right on top of your triple tree there and uh, that should prevent your tank slappers however if you do incur a tank slapper what I recommend doing is just slowing down when I say slow the bike down what I mean is let off the throttle and allow the motorcycle to engine brake do not pull the front brake because that could cause you to high side some people say you can even touch the rear brake lightly you don't want to stomp on it the key is to stay calm, hold on, and let the bike ride out of the tank slapper. Hold on your bike, don't panic. You know, a lot of people get into accidents on motorcycles because they freak out and they panic. Especially new riders, you know, or inexperienced riders. A lot of them will just grab all front brake or something and uh, and set them set themselves up for real mm -hmm. day. And uh, so whatever you do, if you incur any problems, whether it be a fishtail on your bike, tank slapper, uh, uh, skid or anything, don't overreact, stay calm. You know, that's what helped me when I had that target fixation that my very first time I ever had target fixation scared the shit out of me on uh, the triple nickel when I was, there was a blind turn that was coming up and I was just I stayed focused on right ahead of me I had my eyes targeted right ahead of me instead of focusing on the turn and uh, because a blind turn will force you if you have like say I had a lot of trees here so I couldn't see what was going on there and all I saw ahead of me was just that creek and I stayed focused on that creek and uh and I went straight to that and I went over into the uh, the other lane and narrowly went into that, that creek, went over the uh, the median there. But luckily I stayed calm and I braked slowly. I didn't overreact and grab all front brake. That's another thing. I, I'll tell you guys that you want to get into the habit. Hey, my book out van. But um, you want to get into the habit of using both brakes all of the time especially for street you know I'm not gonna argue we're not gonna argue about the freaking percentages 70 30 80 20 any shit but you want to use that rear brake with your front brake because it's gonna help stabilize your bike but the key don't overreact whatever what happens guys don't overreact even I've seen experienced riders that have been riding for decades that maybe have never crashed 
and have overreacted and grabbed all front brake. They got into the habit of using only front brake. And sure enough, when a car pulled out in front of them, this one guy that's on YouTube, he pulled all front brake, he went over his bars, and he could have prevented that had he used his rear brake in conjunction with his, his front brake to help stabilize the bike. Now, if you have combined ABS brakes, where when you activate the front brake, it activates a percentage of the rear brake, then you're good to go. But if you don't have that, and you just have regular brakes like I do, you need to get in the habit of using both brakes for the street. Now, I know on the track, a lot of guys will tell you to uh, that they use only front brake. That's fine at the track, but out here, it's a whole different ball game, guys. You don't, you don't have cars flying at you on the track. Oh, look at that. It's crazy, man. It's good. Whoa. Huh? Or animals running across the street. Hey, hey, hey. But anyways, yeah, getting back to the topic. If you want to prevent tank slappers, get a uh, steering damper. It helps just get you a steering damper anyhow, even if you don't have uh, tank slappers. That will ensure that you won't get any tank slappers. And, uh, but, hey guys, I wish you guys all the best. If you want to see more of my videos, all of my videos are categorized in the various playlists over at uh, CycleCruiser.com. Click on the menu tab, my videos, and uh, hopefully you can find a video that will inform you or entertain you. Subscribe to my All in One Motorcycle channel. Hit thumbs up if you like this video. Share it. I appreciate all you guys. I am going to increase my presence on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Uh, so, hey, go check that out. That's Psycho Cruiser. I appreciate all you guys. I wish you guys all the best and safety out here. Ride strong. Ride defensive. And you'll be fine. But you can't be a pussy out here on the streets. You can't be a pansy. You got to ride smart. But anyways, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to my All in One Motorcycle channel. And check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto. Deuces. Thumbs up. Check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bug Out Moto.